Celebration work has literally changed my life. Right now, I'm hanging out with my friends. I'm at other place for the week, and I'm spending every single day in the pool with my friends who are much thinner than me, and I'm just existing in a bathing suit. Well, the fat, fat feminists and many of the other women in the fat acceptance community are <laughs> singing a little bit of a different tune in recent TikTok. Break out your hard hat, get all your tools, the fat acceptance community is crumbling and many of the members are having a very hard time putting it back together. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel where I break down the internet drama so you do not have to scroll through TikTok and rot your brain. If that interests you, please hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment on today's topic. Oh, what's that baby? You're a little shy? Well, don't you worry. You can just say something like this. Yeah, we no, we absolutely cannot. People are dying. So many people from the fat acceptance community are absolutely Pissed. People are losing weight that they once looked up to for uh, fitspiration. What's that? Oh, I got it wrong. I'm sorry. It's not fitspiration. Fatspiration. That's what I'm supposed to say. Okay. So I was actually working on a test holiday video on something that I really agreed on her on. Yes, it is possible to disagree with someone on one topic and agree with the person on the next topic. Who would have thought? Anyway, so I scrolled onto a video of her saying she doesn't know what the hell to talk about anymore because everybody just hates fat people. I don't post anymore because I don't know what to say and I just feel like nobody cares or it's been done or I've been talking about loving yourself and self-love and all of that for 10 plus years and uh, people still hate fat people. No, 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 people do not hate fat people. At least most people, I'm sure there's some out there that hate fat people and those people are weird. What's going on is people who were in this community for 10 plus years, just like her, are now experiencing something called health risk from something called obesity, like death. Or they're watching their favorite fat influencers experience symptoms like death and all the other stuff that comes before the death part. Over the past about two years, I think a, gr a chunk of fat influencers have passed away, had health scares. We've talked about a few on this channel. Anyway, so I stopped working on that test holiday video. I'm not too sure why I stopped. I just forgot about it and other stuff happened and now it's just in the pit of folders in my computer. But it recently caught my eye that many people in the fat acceptance community are not happy with the increase, the more of an increase since that test holiday video of women who are now trying to lose weight. Now I wanted to make a deep dive video on this, but a few people already have months ago and unless I can add something new to the conversation that requires a very long drawn out over edited video, I think we can just stick to these two individuals that recently talked about people losing weight in their community. Also, I just noticed this part of my forehead is cut off when I get really excited and get close to the camera and I don't notice. Sometimes people complain about that. I'm not doing it on purpose and I will try to satisfy you with my whole forehead, but you guys are so cute. Me and the girls wanna get real close to your face. So the first person we're talking about is our favorite girl, Fat Fab Feminist. Now the first thing that we're gonna show, that I'm gonna show you is she's lip syncing to the video and I can't show you the music because I'll get copyright strike. But the text on the screen is, thinking we made some progress with fat liberation and body positivity, but thin is in again. Did it ever leave? Do you guys think it did? Most people around the world said thin. Oh my God. No, you know what we should be doing right now? Getting fat. That's what we should be doing. Or did people just get more sedentary, keep eating the same amount of food that they were eating when they were active or younger? And a lot of people aren't physically aware of what they eat. Before they knew it, the pounds were just kind of on and they had a whole different, bigger body. And then from the heavens, almost like a gift, that liberation along with TikTok descended. And they thought, oh, well, might as well just accept it because I don't really feel like going on a diet, this seems a little easier. And then, and then you know, 10 years later, they're like, shit. I don't think Finn was ever out, okay. Let's read the rest. And the world is just as fat phobic now as it was a decade ago. And all I want is for the world to be kinder to fat people. That's not all you guys want. Your only demand is not to just be kind. You were complaining about Fashion Week not having enough obesity people walking down the runway just a few days ago. And I wish this was an exaggeration, but it's not. You guys change and it's not bad to change, but in each TikTok, these women change their stories, their theories, they change science. Oh, fat, fat feminists, please do not try to manipulate me. Of all people, we've been through this before and everyone else that you only fight for kindness and rainbows and little gumdrops so we can all run through the flowers together in harmony. This is just from the, the top of the old noggin. You guys demand people to not talk about weight loss, health. You guys say that we shouldn't even use the word obese. You put an asterisk in there. You demand not to get weight at the doctor's office. You demand that doctors never bring up weight. You demand for people not to post before and after pictures unless it's them getting fatter. You guys also demand bigger clothing, like all the time. 
I don't know why, but every fashion week, I am for some reason shocked at how little plus size clothing and plus size fashion is available. All while being pretty hypocritical on TikTok while you ask for kindness and respect and my favorite, no judgment. Here's the difference between men and women objectifying people. I've been sitting here with my best friend and we're just people watching and we're watching and obviously I'm like, this person's hot, this person's not, whatever. We're having a little conversations, we're chit chatting about the people that we're watching, but we're not bothering anyone. At most, I'm giving people a smile or a, oh, look how I like your outfit. But then these four men, ugly men by you, decided to park up right next to us and they're just staring at people and they're harassing them. Like they're whistling at women, they're making comments, they're making people feel uncomfortable. Now I agree with her, those men are shit and probably were very ugly. They usually are the ones that act like that, but to sit on camera and act like she's such a great person and not hypocritical is a little just funny to me. Let me explain why it's a little funny and hypocritical. She literally just said she watches and judges people, whether they're hot or not, then called these men ugly while being in a group that says all bodies are good bodies. I'm not in this group. If I don't like you, you're probably ugly to me. But they're in a group that preaches this kind of thing, teaches not to judge. And she's out on the street just judging people and playing hot or not. Now that doesn't sound very body positive. And that's probably why your community is crumbling. <gasps> and she's doing this all while she gets upset that people judge fat bodies. What were you just saying in that in that TikTok that I started in the beginning? My mind to feel self-conscious about myself because I know they're not judging me, I'm not judging myself. I cannot stand when they act all high and mighty, like we're such good people, we don't wanna judge people by the way they look. Y'all know you're like the rest of us heathen, judging watching and judging some more. Anyway, you guys demand way more than kindness, but I know why her fan base is not calling her out on that specific thing. They usually are very nitpicky, but in this case, everybody was on her side. Why? Because she's speaking about men. What is her name? Fat, fat feminist. I'm not saying that all feminists hate men, but when I watch many of her videos, she gives off that impression that she's always on the woman's side, never on the man's side. Woman good, man bad. You know, could you imagine if these guys were doing what she did? She's saying that, you know, me and my friend kept our opinions to ourselves. We were whispering about people. These guys were, you know, catcalling people. I hate catcalling, but at the same time, what if these men were whispering? about people's bodies and saying, oh, she's hot, she's not, just like you and your friend were. Would that be okay? No. In fact, Fat Fat Feminist, I just remembered, I there's a video and I know Cynical Dude put it out a long time ago and Fat Fat Feminist thought she heard a group of men talking about her fatness and she decided to first leave the restaurant, film a TikTok, then go back and talk to the men. So I did get fat shamed yesterday in public. At first, I was literally so embarrassed that I just ran away into the bar. Hey. Of course, if you have something to say, say oh, it to my face. They weren't talking to her. They were doing the same thing that her and her friend were doing. It's just things like this make their community look very weak. And a lot of the people in the community will probably start seeing it and be like, huh, so these are the people I'm hanging around. Anyway, me being long and drawn out saying that you guys demand way more than kindness. If it was just kindness, I would be part of that fat feminist crew. But we all know that that's not how it goes. So check out this comment. The shift is devastating. I've seen so much progress around fat phobia in my life. Now I have to watch it all crumble. <laughs> See <laughs> the title of the video, it fits. <laughs> so the next person we're looking at who also noticed that a lot of body positive and fat bo or fat positive women are starting to lose weight and leave the community and not even talk about that type of stuff anymore is someone called CFW, confident, fearless, worthy. I'd rather be fat and happy them thin and sad. When a former body positive influencer partners with Weight Watchers. <gasps> not that, not watching their weight. Another one bites the dust. Did you know that Weight Watchers is one of the most fat phobic diet practices around? They literally want people to lose weight. <laughs> It feels like all the BOPO influencers who introduced me to the movement are doing something along these lines. And it's disheartening. Why though? <laughs> Why is it disheartening if you're so confident and fearless and worthy? Why would it be extremely disheartening that someone is losing weight? It doesn't mean you have to, or does it bring you back to reality? Does it show you and open your eyes that you can actually lose weight if you eat less? So after she posted this video, a lot of people had questions. Some agreed, but many people were asking, why is it not body positive to lose weight and have someone do whatever they want with their body? Like we're telling 
the fat women to do. And so she made a response video. This video was in reaction to somebody who I used to follow back in the day for plus size content who announced uh, that they are collaborating with Weight Watchers. Name them, name them, name them, name, D join in you guys, name them, right? We want names. Cause if I make a deeper dive video, then I could talk about all the people that are leaving the community. So I would love for her to name all of them to help me out a little bit. Can you guys help me out a little bit? Who else is leaving the community? Did somebody else die? I can't take any more since Jamie. I liked Jamie, I'm still upset by that. She also might be talking about glitters and lasers. I keep seeing thumbnails with glitters and lasers and they're saying that she's promoting weight loss or she's part of some weight loss team, something like that. People are really upset by it. And it always just cracks me up because imagine being upset that someone's trying to lose weight. It's wild. And ironically, I'm in a group of fellow fat babes uh, and somebody had asked, hey, has anyone noticed the uptick in fat or plus size people doing weight loss content recently? Or dying. I wish they would have said that. Like a nice fun group. They got all their snacks everywhere. They got music playing, fat liberating everywhere. And then one of the fat girls is like, did anybody ever think about dying? Like in Barbie, that's straight from the Barbie scene, except in real life. Do you guys ever think about dying? <laughs> So the video is a pretty lengthy video, but she goes on and says, everyone noticed that people are like leaving the body positive community and the fat community. And during that conversation, she noticed that every single, she said every single one, all of the people that introduced her to uh, loving their fat roles is now on a diet and losing weight. Some of them have pivoted to other areas of content that they now make videos about. And others have, don't don't even talk about it at all anymore. So then she goes into theories as to why no one wants to be a liberated fat chick on the internet anymore. And I know what you're thinking, no, it's not one of those theories are death, health issues, or ow, my knees hurt. Number one, is it more profitable to talk about uh, things other than body positivity right now? No, not for me. <laughs> Not for the people talking about you guys. For us, it's absolutely great. People love hearing about the crazies on the internet who says fat is fantastic. But for other people, being that person, I can personally see it being just a trend until the inevitable end of the health issues. I mean, not too long ago, smoking was the thing to do. People thought it was healthy. An older client of mine was saying, back in the day, my doctor would literally smoke in the room while he was doing her exam. And it was peachy keen. Well, years later, lung cancer happened and death and really raspy voices. It didn't last very long, but at the time it was great. People loved it. But what happened? Not only did people see the effects, science proved it just like they did with obesity. The hate and the just constant criticism of plus size bodies and talking about plus size bodies and actively working to uplift those bodies. So she's doing the same thing that Fat Fat Feminist was doing because that's partially what it is, but that's not all of what it is. And you guys know this, you know that that's not what all you guys fight for. Obviously people are going to criticize a group that does this. No, no, no. When science is brought up or wants to say that obesity has a list of health risks, which is another reason why your group is crumbling down. But number three, the whole thin is back in and the onset of the availability of weight loss drugs such as weight Wigovi and Ozempe. See, nothing to do with health. Just like the fat, fat feminists, they're under the impression that thin is just, just came back in. It's trendy again. Hollywood said to everybody, get fat, look at us. We don't care about our looks or anything. <laughs> that was never in. I know you guys had high hopes with Lizzo. We already know someone created that magic pill that they could hand to any of the people or at least 98% of the people in your community to, that would make them lose weight in five seconds, they would take it. Look at that, Ozempic was born and it doesn't make you lose weight in five seconds and you still have to go on a diet, but it's one of the top weight loss drugs that people are taking to lose weight. And look at that, people in your community are taking it and getting weight loss surgery. But all that is to say is that it is very disheartening to see that happen. And look, again, I just want to stress, I'm all for body autonomy, okay? I understand it's difficult to be a plus size person in society. Yep, being a plus size creator is hard. They gotta complain about the chairs and the, what was that, the airplane seats and the toilets. Oh yes, the towels, you 
I did forget that one, Mary Fran. But you know what? Someone's gotta do it. So thank you guys for taking one for the American team. Fuck yeah! Freedom is the only way to show people that you can be fat, confident, fearless, and of course worthy. America! Fuck yeah! No, but it's the combination of health issues, the stigma, attractiveness. People always want to be, well, most people think want to be attractive. And the community is right. A lot of people say thin is attractive. If you're fat, then you're ugly. And that's not, has, can't be like a really good feeling. Also the thigh chafe, that's painful. So then she goes on and says, people are losing weight for babies. Like they have to lose weight to get pregnant. And the only way to have any doctor in America pay attention to you is to be thin. And like, it's sucks if you can't get proper care or treatment unless you are in a thinner body in this society. So I know that people, one, have a fear of going to the doctor. I wasn't even as big as this woman and I had a fear of going to the doctor, mostly because the scale freaked me out. But at the same time, just have a little inkling that she is talking about, oh, these people can't go see the doctor because they're just gonna say, lose weight. One of the things that make it difficult to get pregnant is obesity. So of course, if you're going to the doctor saying, doctor, I'm having trouble getting pregnant and you're obese, he's going to suggest lose weight rather than hooking you up with all these other things that cost a lot of money to help you get pregnant. I mean, you guys can do that. It's just gonna cost money. They'll take your money. It really sucks that all of these people who showed me what body positivity was, who taught me about the movement, who were saying things like, it's so important to love yourself no matter what. Like fat bodies deserve respect to care and that weight loss doesn't always work and yada yada are then turning to it later on and no longer uplifting or having the same messages to plus size bodies. Sound, sounds a little bit like a you problem. <laughs> sounds like that's not their problem. It sounds like you got some things to to unpack in that suitcase. So this is interesting because believe it or not, people do this in the bodybuilding community. There's a, quite a bit of female bodybuilders that just can't take it anymore. They can't take the drugs, the weight, the muscle, the training, all this. And they start to get off of all the drugs and they reduce their muscle and their weight to a healthier weight. Because remember, weight still weight. And I hear way too many bodybuilders saying, my bones crushed with every step on stage. Like that's not the healthiest thing. So, and so they start losing muscle. And I tell you, if you read the comments, the people, usually the men get absolutely pissed. It's just very funny to watch and very similar to the fat community, except the fat community seems a little bit worse to me. Why? We know those like F-E-T-I-S-H men are, are freaky, you know, like, they're just weird. The body positive community is worse to me in this sense because they preach, you do what you want, girl, girl power. You go, girl, you do whatever you want with your body. You eat those hot cheetahs, you sit on that couch. Don't let these men tell you what to do with your body. You do whatever you wanna do because you're a woman. Well, then a bunch of women do what they want to do with their body. And then the floods of TikToks of all these women who just said, you do what you want, complain about them doing exactly what they want, losing weight. With the whole, this sucks, you introduced me to love my fat rolls. You can love your fat rolls just fine. You don't need them to love yourself. That's a little weird. And that's why your community is crumbling. Get over it, love the fat, or lose weight, or cry on your couch, I don't know. But y'all gotta figure it out. Anyway, there was a lot more TikToks and we can look at more, but they were all very similar and I shouldn't be surprised how many of these people were surprised that a group like this would crumble and not be so trendy once the health issues start coming in. But it still surprised me how many people are irritated that people want to lose weight. But anyway, what do you guys think? Was thin just a trend? And now, just like Beetlejuice, it's bad. You guys remember, you do not have to be a size two. Having big biceps is great, it's so much fun, but not needed. You do not have to be in the gym for hours, run marathon, be a skinny mini, eat 500 calories only, pack down the protein shake. You don't have to do those things to take care of your health. But remember, if you don't, you are gonna feel it. No matter how much you say, you love your fat roll. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums.